guys welcome back to my channel this is Tuti and today's video is about three amazing breakfast recipes that are so easy to make and uh, this is especially for bachelors and those who live alone who don't have enough time who are on a job who don't have enough time to um, spend on making uh, heavy breakfast so this video is for you guys it takes only uh, 10 to 15 minutes to make these recipes so let's get started so for my first recipe this is that is an Indian style sandwich recipe I'm going to take some potatoes and I'm going to boil it and after it gets boiled properly and cooked properly I'm just going to peel its skin off and after peeling it I'll just keep it uh, in a different plate and Moving ahead, the next step would be chopping some onions and some green chilies and uh, I'm chopping it into fine pieces and I'll also chop the green chilies into fine pieces. After my chopping is done, I'll just place a pan, turn the heat on and I'll put some oil to it, sunflower oil and I'm taking green chilies, I'm first putting the green chilies and then the onions to and after that I'll just saute it. I'm just going to saute the onion and green chilies until the onions become translucent in color. After it becomes translucent, I'll go ahead and add some oregano to it. I love how it tastes. Um, that's why I'm going to add some more oregano and just saute it. After that, I'm going to add some salt according to my taste. And I'll just go ahead and grate the potatoes so like this so that uh, you know you have to ultimately mash it so I'm grating is a uh, good option without mashing it so yeah it's done after I'm done with this process I'll just go ahead and mix it all together so that the flavor of the oregano and the onion everything comes in a, uh, a good way so after that i'm just going to mix a little bit and my filling for my sandwich will be ready i'll add a pinch of salt uh, again according to my taste bud so yeah it's ready my filling is ready process is to um, make my breads ready so I'm not uh, using a sandwich maker or a toast maker I'm just going ahead and uh, taking a tawa and um, putting some butter on the bread and just flipping it and uh, to, to, to um, butter it a little bit and then it will be done So my breads are ready now. After that what I'll do is add some veg mayo to it. I'm currently loving this flavor of veg mayo of this brand. So I'm putting uh, it uh, uh, as a spread on the bread and just after that, I'll just add the filling that I have already made. Uh, I'll just put and press a little bit so that it sticks together with the bread. And yep, same for the other bread. Press it a little bit and again, I'll add some mayo to it so that it gives a nice flavor to my bread. Yep, and it's done. 
to add a tangy a little, a little tangy taste to my sandwich i'll just go ahead and add some tomato ketchup this is from maggie tomato ketchup and you can skip always skip that step if you don't like uh, sauce uh, like to add sauce i'll just go ahead and flip the other piece of bread and i'll just cut into small pieces and my sandwich easy indian sandwich is ready Trust me guys you should try this recipe once because it's so filling I just have my breakfast with uh, a glass of juice and I'll enjoy It's such a filling breakfast by the way Yum So my second recipe is an Indian style pasta or macaroni. So first uh, first of all I'm just going to uh, boil my uh, macaroni. I'll take some water. After the water is boiled, I'll just go ahead and add some macaroni. I'll just put the lid and let it boil for some time. While my pasta is getting boiled, I'll just go ahead and chop some onions, chop some veggies. You can add whichever veggies you want to add. I'm just going ahead and adding some carrots, some peas, peas and um, some beans. Um, I you can also add capsicum or whatever veggies you uh, may like. So I'm chopping all the veggies and then I'll give it a nice rinse in water and after that I'll just uh, check if my macaroni has been boiled or not. So my pasta is cooked and it's not overcooked. I don't want it to be overcooked. It's just perfect like this. I'll just go ahead and. Uh, strain it and uh, add some cold water to it so that uh, the temperature cools down after uh, i wash my macaroni with cold water i'll just keep it um, like this and i'll in the next step i'm just going to add a little bit of oil over the macaroni so that uh, and mix it well so that it won't stick to each other so after that I'll just take a pan I'll put some oil turn the heat on and I'll add the green chilies and the onions and I'll cook it until saute it until the uh, onions become translucent and yeah just mixing it and sauteing it well and after the onions become translucent I'm just going ahead and adding the vegetables that I have uh, already washed and, and chopped I'll just cook it for some time I'll just add some pinch of salt and I'll put the lid and let it cook for some time so that the veggies will be cooked properly After the veggies are cooked, I'll go ahead again. I'll add the same oregano that I used in my previous recipe. I'll just go ahead and add some oregano to it, and the smell it it smells awesome after adding oregano. And I'll uh, take my macaroni. I'll just put mix it well and put it um, over my over my veggies. After I mix it well, I'll just go ahead and add some masala magic uh, to it. It gives a nice taste, Indian flavor to my macaroni and I love that. After the magic masala, I'll just go ahead and mix it, uh, mix everything well so that the flavors of everything uh, comes all together and mixing it all together. And adding a pinch of salt to it uh, according to my taste 
and yes again mixing it well after that i'll go ahead and add some amul cheese to it i didn't have the cubes of cheese so i just go ahead and grated some of the cheese and i'll just add it i have just added it like that i love how it turns um i love the smell of it now it's amazing After mixing it all well, I'll just go ahead and add some ketchup to it, some tomato ketchup and some green chili uh, sauce. Again, I'll mix it and yeah, my Indian style pasta is ready. I'll just grab it for my breakfast now. just plating it and after that i'll enjoy so my third recipe is muesli with fruits i know many of you don't like muesli my sister also doesn't like but i like muesli of course you can skip muesli and go ahead with the corn flakes and do the same i'll just uh, take any of my um, favorite fruits and i'll just go ahead and cut it into small pieces i'll taking i'm taking banana and just um, i've just peeled some oranges and i'll just cut it into fine pieces and after that i'll cut some of the grapes after chopping the oranges i'll chop the grapes and yeah i love having fruits in my muesli i also add some uh, dates to it but i didn't i forgot to add actually so fine i'll go ahead and add the muesli to it first of all After that I'll go ahead and add some milk to it. I'll just go ahead and mix it a little bit and after mixing it well I'll just put the extra milk again and so I'm skipping the sugar and I'm adding the jaggery powder to it. It adds a very nice taste to my muesli and i love that i'm trying to avoid sugar as much as i can so i'm just skipping sugar and adding some sugar, um, jaggery powder after that i'll just put all the fruits that i have cut already and i'll just mix them all um yeah and it's as simple as that you just need to cut some fruits and add it to your muesli and next step is i'll add some honey actually i am a sweet tooth so i love uh, sugary products but i'm avoiding sugar as much as i can so yeah going ahead and adding some honey it gives a very nice taste to my uh, muesli and also i uh, must have added dates to it but i skipped that i forgot it to add no worries adding some pomegranate seeds and that's it i'll enjoy and it's so much filling guys trust me you should try it it's a must try guys for watching this video i hope it was useful to you and uh, i hope you liked it so if you do like please hit the like button and comment down below please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button beside that so that you will get notified whenever i post a new video so till then bye bye see you in the next video